hello friends welcome to my new tutorial of facebook api conversion so today i will discuss about how to i'll show you how to track advocate event so this pro the process is same like view item so first of all uh, i'll create trigger uh, to create trigger we need to know the event name here so to know the event name go to your debugging mode from your google tag manager and and from your debug mode website click on any product and add to cart and add add some product in your card then you will see here this add to cart event here okay so click on add to cart here you can see this add to cart event so we have to track this add to cart so first of all we will create a trigger so come to your go click on trigger then click on new and i have already uh, create the add to cart trigger here ab add to cart trigger so just give it a name and then select custom event here from here select custom event and then you have to paste this add to cut add to cut from here and you have to you have to copy it from here and paste it here and then save this trigger will be created after that you have to create a tag so i will show you newly click on new tag then give it a name ap add to cart tag and click on the tag configuration and then click again on the facebook pixel archive then add the ap pixel constant variable this is and this is an add to cart event so click and uh, so select add to cart then click on the object properties I will add object properties property name and property value so you will collect this from the data layer click on the add to cart and data layer you can see here you have to take the id name price and value and currency so i have already uh, i have already created variable for this in the previous video and uh, in this video i will just paste the property name and value so <coughs> i have pasted it here so for content type you have to copy this exactly otherwise it will not work and then you can type product or you can copy paste product then we have to keep content ids actually facebook recommend this property name the property name should be like this otherwise this will not work so now i will add the uh, content id content type content id content This is the product ID, then content name, this is the product name, then the value, currency will be the currency so i have added the property name and property value then select the trigger which i have created it be add to cut trigger now just click on save and after creating every tag you have to uh, submit and publish that 
tag otherwise the tag uh, will not work so this is how uh, to, this is how to track add to cart event and send the dynamic value to facebook picture so you can also check to uh, check by logging your event manager business uh, facebook business manager whether this event is going to uh, to figure or not so let's check from debugging mode whether it is working or not disconnected and from your debug debugging website click on any product and click on add to cut then you can see whether this uh, tag is working or not you can see here fb fb add to cut this trigger i have created this trigger i created earlier and this is now i have created so click on add to cut add to cut uh, you can see here every add to cut has been fired one time so it is working 100 percent so thank you so much for watching my video and if you need this service you can hire me like facebook api conversion and gfo server site tracking thank you so much